What's up guys, your educated grease monkey here. Welcome back. Tesla's new Cybertruck. Yeah. All right, where do we begin? Um, if you do see me looking down, it's because I have the website right in front of me. I wanted to fact check all these things because I am very impressed with this truck and also very unimpressed with this truck. Um, I respect Elon Musk a ton, and I know the man is a genius, and we'll go over that a little bit today too. But the Cybertruck is probably the most hideous thing I've ever looked at in my life, and I might be exaggerating, but it truly is ugly. Um, I saw a meme somewhere on the internet where it was like on the paint uh, app on the computers where it looked like somebody had drawn it when they were a kid. That's legitimately what this truck looks like. Um, the more and more I look at it, it kind of grows on you a little bit, you know, it kind of like, it's not too bad, but it, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. I mean, it has to peak up. It looks like a tent. It's, it's, it's a, it's a rolling pyramid. I mean, whatever, you know, if you could get past the looks, it's actually pretty badass. I mean, you gotta give the guy credit. He built a hell of a machine. Um, I thought it was funny that, you know, he's talking about the stainless steel frame and he's talking about, you know, the reinforced windows, the bulletproof windows or whatever, or shatterproof windows, whatever they call it. And then they throw the ball bearing at it and it shatters the, the, the window on the release. And then he said, oh, do it again. And he does it twice. You know, it breaks both windows. There's actually a really good picture of Elon Musk on the stage with both windows broken on the cyber truck in the back which I thought was hilarious, but the more you think about it, it almost feels like a marketing stunt. It almost feels like he did that purposely so that people would talk about the truck because they don't have a marketing budget, which is interesting. So, you know, Elon Musk is genius. I would not put it past him to come up with some sort of stunt that way. And it works because everybody's talking about this truck. It's all over the internet. And that's why I'm talking about it, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm going to go to the site real quick, and I'm going to talk about some of the things that I really didn't know, but is very impressive. Um, first off, exoskeleton shell made with stainless steel. It says here, from ultra-hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel structure skin. That sounds incredible. But the most impressive part, with the single motor rear-wheel drive version of this, it does zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds. That's faster than most cars already, okay? Let's go one step further to dual motor all wheel drive. Dual motor all wheel drive is 4.5 seconds from zero to 60. That's no joke, people. That's, that's powerful, okay? And it has a 300 plus mile range. And then of course the tri-motor all wheel drive is a ridiculous 2.9 seconds from zero to 60 out of a truck. That looks like you drew it in your kindergarten class. It's pretty crazy, okay? I don't know much about Teslas. I'm not gonna sit here and try to act like I do. Um, I know that they're pushed by ginormous electrical motors and they have huge battery capacity as most electric vehicles do. So the whole tri-motor all-wheel drive thing confuses me a bit. I'm definitely gonna have to read up on it and try to understand it because dual motor makes sense. You got a motor for the front uh, drive train and a motor for the rear drive train. Tri motor, don't really understand it. Maybe uh, some sort of transfer case. I'm, I, again, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what that is, but the specs are insane. Like I mentioned, we have 2.9 seconds from zero to 60. The range is a ridiculous 500 plus miles, which is very impressive for an electrical car. Still not enough for me, but still very impressive. Okay. And then the towing capacity is 14,000 pounds. 14,000 pounds. That is ridiculous. Autopilot is standard, adaptive air suspension, and it has a 16 inch ground clearance. Okay. That is cool. I'm sorry. That is cool. If you get over the fact that this car just looks hideous, 
That is some impressive numbers, okay? And you don't have to spend a dime on gas or diesel. I don't know if you guys have seen the video. I'm going to see if I can find the version of it on YouTube, and I'll link it down below. But it's the Cybertruck versus an F-150, which I am so grateful they did this to Ford and not GM because, you know, that would hurt my soul. So it's uh, the Ford F-150 on one side. They put a cable or a chain link or something in between the two cars and then the Cybertruck on the other side, and they're just trying to push each other. That F-150 didn't have a chance. The Cybertruck just pulled it. And I don't even know if that was the tri-motor. I'm sure it was, but... That's pretty ridiculous. And let's say you can't afford the tri-motor. I got the uh, the dual motor here says that the towing capacity is a ridiculous 10,000 plus pounds. That is still crazy. It's just crazy. Now, if you ask me, I don't know what these things are going for. Let me see. Let me click order now. Let's see how we got this. I'm sure there's going to be, I know there's a lot of great hype behind it. Okay, for the single motors, 39,000, dual motor, 49,000, tri motors, just over 69,000. If you want the full self driving, you can add an additional $7,000. So, $50,000 truck, yeah, that's that's very competitive. Um, and I've, 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 I've put a video on this, I believe, four or five years ago about Tesla and how they're just going to take over the market at some point. They just really seem like that's what they're going to do. I mean, nobody's competing with them. I mean, all Ford came up with is, was an SUV version of a Mustang, which is like, well, come on, you know. And GM is far behind on the electrical game now. I mean, I'm sure they're trying to catch up now, but I'm just really stunned by this thing like i said very impressive things and not so impressive i'm gonna put up an image of this thing right now okay just look at it it looks like it was drawn it the side profile of this thing bleh, okay bleh. but when you go back and then you see kind of like the angled profile it's the it's the picture they put right on smack in the front of the website it looks a little better i like that whole led strip in the front but I personally probably wouldn't buy this one. I'm a cheap ass, so I wouldn't. Two, it's just, oh God, it's ugly. You know, it's really ugly. Couldn't you like, I don't know, put a few curves into this thing and, you know, less pointy, less Egyptian pyramid, you know? I don't know. But uh, that's all I really have to say about the Cybertruck. I mean, like I've talked before, I, I would love to learn more about the technology of it. I don't know much. I'm not going to act like I do. Um, the range is impressive. The towing capacity is even more impressive and the speed is just redonkulous. Okay, uh, that's right. I said redonkulous um, and In the future, we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this uh, manufacturers are gonna just are, are have their sights on Tesla because they know Tesla is disrupting the market and uh, I'm excited. I'm really I'm excited of what's to come. It's a little fearsome if you're a mechanic because you're going to have to go out there and start getting, you know, some some real degrees to be able to work on this kind of stuff. I know that I would have to go to school completely um, and start from fresh to really understand how to work on these things. I mean, they still have tires, they still have brakes, so we got that. But, you know, it's, it's a little concerning in that end. But regardless, pretty impressive car. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know what I think about it? Tell me what you think. Would you buy one? Would you not? What would you do if you were given one for free? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, you know, uh, like the video and subscribe. And I hope you really like this format. Please give me some feedback on that too because I plan on doing uh, more of these. I, I really enjoy doing them more. So um, that's where I'm headed. Till next time, guys. Educated Grease Monkey. Out.